NASA is not only focused on outer space, the agency is also tracking life here on Earth. I'm learning a lot this week because I, I thought it was just stuff up there, but you guys do a lot. Uh, here to talk about a special collaboration with NOAA is NASA researcher Jeff Homola. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. So cool what you guys do. See, it's not just up in the space. You do stuff on Earth. That's right. Okay, uh, let's talk about why NASA is helping NOAA track marine mammals. This is fascinating. Tell me about it. Yes. Quite fascinating. It's, uh, NASA innovates for the benefit of humanity, and we've been working yeah. with NOAA very closely to look at tracking marine mammal populations, specifically stellar sea lions and harbor seals. For a while now, NOAA has been tracking those populations over the years and noticing a decline in those populations. And typically, the way they do it is by getting brave men and women into an aircraft, twin engine aircraft, and flying around in kind of adverse conditions. But now we're looking at how we can use drone technologies to wow. be able to do some, the same types of tracking um, possibilities. So, so you get up in, in the planes and you have drones like that one. So, yep. But my question is, when you, when you have NOAA, I would think NOAA has it covered, right? But then you bring in NASA, so you have all these uh, brains coming together. Yep. Why does NOAA benefit from what you guys can bring in that they can't do on their own? I'm trying to figure out how to ask it properly without yeah. you know, yeah. insulting anybody. Yeah, so Noah came to us to look at how really? we can leverage our flight expertise and technologies that we've developed for research using drones and uncrewed aircraft. And so we integrated their payloads into our aircraft and we're able to fly it wow. in very remote locations and basically get imagery from those um, okay. sea mammal populations and analyze that data. Okay, when you analyze that data, that brings me to the why. I mean, I, I think we all know the answer to this, but uh, briefly, why is it important to be able to track these different mammals and these animals. So we can better understand the impact that things like climate change may have on those types of populations and really understand where the trends and patterns go and what it might affect other things that are in our environment right now. What are the trends right now? As, as, have you discovered anything yet? Well, that's the, the thing we're looking at now is the, basically the viability of being, being able to use these drones for that type of research. And, but the basic trends are that they're declining and we're trying to better understand where those trends and patterns are going through this type of work together. What, what animals are you focused on and how do you decide which ones you're going to track and, and which ones are critical to kind of guide us into, well, we're in trouble, the planet's heading for some... What animals do you know are critical to, to kind of pinpoint that? Uh, the one that we've been focusing on with NOAA are the stellar sea lions and harbor seals. Specifically, specifically those. And why those, those animals? Is that a stellar sea lion? Do we know? Is that one? That, so, yeah, that's more on the, the NOAA side. Um, oh, okay. But, yeah, our technology yeah. and our focus on the NASA side was supporting the flight operations for their research. So what information can you get from these guys? Because they're going to different parts of the ocean and they're living in different parts of the Earth. That tells you something? What does it tell you? Yep, so it, it tells us um, they, through the integration of their sensors and our platforms, they can start getting a better estimate of where these mammals are at any given time and looking mm. at where they go during the different seasons. So, so they put a sensor on the they put a sensor on them? No, the sensors are on the aircraft that the we aircraft. That yeah, we're the flying with NOAA. So your aircraft can but how do they detect what's then happening down there? Yeah. So that's the secret sauce. Oh, right? come no, on. NOAA, <laughs> NOAA payload was on our aircraft and so we were flying it around these very remote isolated islands and that those payloads would detect where the mammals were at the, any given time oh, wow. to this be is able the to classify point them. Of the thing where I go, yeah, this is fascinating. Well, that's when, why we do this, and he does that. <laughs> you're, you're, a, you're a NASA researcher, so when you get involved and you study and you become a NASA researcher, was this kind of what you had in mind, or were you also like, oh, I want to do stuff in space? But then you end up realizing NASA does this too. Did you have this right. in mind when you kind of became a NASA researcher? Not initially. So yeah. that was kind of the same as you, and then I realized that the first A in NASA is aeronautics and has a very long history wow. in contributing to that, that world that we're in. So what's next with this yeah. collaboration you guys have? Like what's down five, ten years down the line? Yeah, so we had ideally. A, yeah, ideally, yeah, so we're working kind of through what the next steps are at the moment. We had a very successful campaign yeah. in a very remote location over a thousand miles from land is where we were at the time. Oh, and so we're mm. going through the lessons learned right now and understanding really what's the best approach for building out, really building out a drone program for NOAA. So this was an initial proof of concept, lots Whoa. of lessons learned mm. and success. Do you wear that pin everywhere? I try to. You do? Listen, no, I, don't. I, I, I <laughs> do have you? an observation because yeah. your, your colleague yeah. was here yesterday. Yes. yes. 
Like, and hold on. he brought his pins. Hold on. Uh, hold if on. I'm not mistaken, Charlie, if you still have it, your pin is bigger than his pin. Your pin, hold on. I know this yeah, is so ASMR kind of stuff, but hold on. If you have more guests, maybe Mike, it's going to keep on. getting your, bigger. My pin. Look at, look at, look. Your pin. <laughs> now that's smaller. Now how, stickers, is it smaller. smaller. how do we get the bigger pin? Look, yeah, one is smaller. We'll send it to you. How do you get the big one? Why is yours bigger than yeah. this one? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jeff Hamola with uh, NASA, uh, we thank you. Thanks for being in San Diego. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Fascinating. So cool. Very exciting. Thanks for having me. You can see we're, we're very interested, but we don't understand any of it. Uh, but that's why we have you. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. it.